what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. How is it that you still remain relevant and you're still able to pack the house when you go into these spots with like little or no uh, heads up that you even like, uh, even in the city, like you put your name on there and you can <clears throat> people show up. You know? this, is, this is where I have to tip my hat to the people. Cause oftentimes when I give analogies, I use sports. Cause I think sports so much lends itself to life. Um, I'm gonna put it in boxing terms. There's the people's champ and then there's the paper champ. Mm -hmm. Very few boxers are both. Muhammad Ali on paper and to the people was the champ. Mm -hmm. Mike Tyson was the champ on paper. And by paper, I mean the industry, the business. And he was the people's champ. Some dudes ain't both. Some dudes is one or the other. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm one of those guys. I think on paper to the industry, I ain't shit. They don't, they, they ain't a fan of mine. They don't respect me. They ain't looking for me. Mm -hmm. To the people, I'm the shit. And I think the people real recognize real, real respects real. And I think people, and I'm not trying to be vain, but I'm telling you what people say. Because when you look at my posts and you look at the fact that I say the things I say and the fact that I'm able to tie together humor along with social consciousness and seriousness. And people agree with what I say because they know it's coming from a place of realism and the heart. People respect that. And, and, I th and a lot of people have said, yo, Aries, you are so underrated, so underappreciated. I don't wanna say underrated because you know the people know who the fuck I am. The industry, I ain't underrated. They just don't like me for obvious reasons. So uh, to answer your question, I think there's a shortage of real and honest. And we live in such a moist ass era of political correctness that people are starving for it. They want honesty. They don't want 15 place trophies. They want honesty. Yeah. And I think that I do that. And I think that when you look at my body of work, whether it's my eight years that was on Mad TV, the first Shaq All-Star Comedy Jam that I did with Kevin Hart, D-Ray, Cedric, which everybody says to this day was the best one. My year that I did with Damon Wayans on the underground, the movies I've been in, the talk show interviews, the Vlad TV interviews, people can look at me and go, I believe him. I like that guy. He's real, he's authentic, excuse me. And I think that's, that's what's sustained me. I don't think, and, and I, I agree with that. I actually agree with that just from the outside looking in. Um, you know, because I, I kind of feel the same way you would feel like about a hip hop artist that you know is the shit, but don't get their accolades from the industry. The people, right. the people, the people that know, know. So I don't believe, I personally don't believe that you're underappreciated. I think the people appreciate you. But that's but, what I'm saying, the people do. It the is industry. The, it is the gatekeepers. It's the industry, the gatekeepers, that that really deny the people more uh, more action and, and 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 I guess large scale access to you. Well, here, here's the beauty of social media, though, and 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 you know, this is, this is a good thing because I always say social media to me is a blessing and a curse. You know, you're always one hit away in Hollywood from changing things, whether it's a viral video, a commercial, a special, a TV show, a movie, a moment. You're Jason. always one hit away True. because Hollywood is all about money and it's all about numbers. And if you can show on paper that you have the ability to generate numbers, all is forgiven. I once had an agent tell me, if Hitler could prove that he could open up a box office weekend, he'd be a star. What the talking about? Yeah.